Today, we are going to take a look at the five new perfume weapons that were added in Shadow of the Erd Tree. This will, of course, include their movesets, unique Ashes of War, as well as where to get them. And remember, these are meant to be sprayed at your enemies only, so no, they will not leave you smelling like roses. Anyway, for the first perfume weapon of the day, here I have the Fire Spark perfume. It deals fire damage and it scales with dex. And the Ash of War that I'm using is Rolling Sparks. And I will most likely use these talismans for the entire video. We'll just have to see. Getting a first look at the moveset, here is the Light Attack String, and it is four attacks. Then you have the Uncharged Heavies, the Charged Heavies, Running Light, Running Heavy, the Backstep Attack, and you can even backstep whenever you are charging a heavy attack. Then of course you have the jumping light and the jumping heavy, and the rolling slash crouching attack. Then really quick I will show you the one-handed moveset, that is the light attack string, here are the heavies, all the attacks are similar. Running light, running heavy, jumping light, jumping heavy. Backstep, backstep heavy, and once again, the rolling slash crouching attack. And these are indeed paired weapons, so if you two-hand them, you get two of them. And the Ash of War rolling sparks, which can only be put on perfume weapons, looks like this. You send out a stream of perfume that has a delayed explosion. And here is the Ash of War selection you get. It is rather limited, however you do get some solid ones. And today we are going to focus on these two specifically. Now, as we're getting into this first fight of the day, um, there's something that I need to tell you. And it's that these weapons don't really stagger against a lot of armors. From what I have tested so far outside of recording, you have to hit both streams for the attacks to stagger. But I've also gone up against people where not even that works. So it's kind of strange. It's something that you have to play around. However, hopefully by the end of this video, I can show you how to do that. Meanwhile, we have Aged Griffith spoiling the video. Not cool. Oh, get away. Really good damage there, though. Almost a thousand. Nice. Good fight. So my first a bit of advice for you guys is going to be that you should really utilize the heavy attacks on these weapons. The running heavy is really good. The normal heavies are great. <laughs> good fight. You can kind of create a shield in front of you with these weapons, and that's like the whole idea. Just to try to create a divide between you and your opponent 24-7. As you can see, the damage really is not bad on these uncharged heavies. I really like this guy's setup. It's very, uh, saucy. Oh. Ooh, let's go! Down to the wire. Great fight, Lou. Also, very nice build. What was that? Straight Sword and Beast Claw? Very, very based. But yeah, that's really it for the Fire Spark perfume. You know, it's solid. It deals fire damage. Not really much else to say. Of course, I have to tell you where to get it, though. Go to the castle front side of Grace, then head south until you reach here on your map. And it is found in a chest at this location. Perfume number two is going to be the Lightning Perfume. Once again, I am using Rolling Sparks. And don't think I forgot about this Ash of War, we're gonna get to it. And something that I should have mentioned is that the only affinity that you can have on these is Standard, which makes sense. But here is what the attacks look like, and the moveset is the exact same as the Fire Spark Perfume. However, I do think that these attacks look a lot cooler. Especially the Rolling Sparks, this looks amazing. 
And my second bit of advice for using these is you should not be afraid to free aim the attacks or even the Ashes of War, because it can be really, really useful in some scenarios. Why do sweeping AoE attacks? It's like free aim city. Good damage. Nice. Okay, good stagger. See, the stagger just really confuses me. I don't really understand how it works. Like, do you have to hit both streams? Does poise matter? Like, I, like, I really don't get it. It seems very inconsistent. Oh, nice. Very nice. Good fight, Eldigan. So yeah, I don't really know what to say about that. These may stagger, they may not. I feel like poise is definitely a factor. Uh, edgy. What is good? That is really good damage. The attacks are so fast, too. Good roll catch. Good fight. Like I was saying earlier, just create the shield in front of yourself and you will be okay. All right, let's get one more fight in with these lightning ones and then move on, but these are feeling really, really strong. I'm really interested to see how the status effect ones perform too. All right, who wants some electroshock therapy? Valindra, hello. Okay. Wait, was that a stalemate? Aw, uh, GG. But needless to say, the lightning perfume is very solid. If someone isn't careful, you can do a thousand damage in no time. If you sweet spot rolling sparks, you can do a ton of damage too. So far, this is my favorite, but of course we still have three others to get to. Not before I tell you how to get this though. The lightning perfume is found northeast of the Cerulean Coast side of Grace. Go to this body of water right here and you will find it on a corpse that is being guarded by a lightning ram. We now have three perfumes left, and all of them do status effects. The first of the bunch is the Frenzy Flame Perfume. It scales D in Strength, C in Dex, D in Intelligence, and D in Faith. It does 60 Madness buildup, but there is no way to increase this. And I went with mostly all Dex because it gave me the most AR. And since this does Madness, I do have the Aged One's Exultation on. Here is what the attacks look like, and the moveset is the exact same as the last to and getting a first look at wall of sparks which i do like more than rolling sparks this is a chargeable ash of war and here's what it looks like and here is the uncharged version i'm not really expecting the damage to be amazing again the scaling is really really weird on this oh god okay The lag is very intense. <laughs> I'm just trying to get madness on this guy. Oh my god, it's taking so long. Oh my god, what is happening, dude? Oh, let's go, baby! <laughs> Dude, that took way too long. Stalemate. Oh, that kind of sucks. But that took way too long to proc. They need to make it so you can at least increase the buildup a little bit. Maybe for this one, you should use a madness weapon in your main hand and then use these in your offhand. But I mean, the damage isn't that great. Again, the scaling is very, very strange. And I got to make sure I'm not charging Wall of Sparks all the time. Sometimes it's just better to uncharge it.
Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, let's go. Good fight, Lou. Got over a thousand damage there. I'm not sure if I got madness off or not. The hit must have taken him out of it because that was a lot of damage. Who is this? Black Witch Surf. <laughs> He's got the matting hand. Very nice. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. If you get the madness off, these things can really shine. Good fight. Oh my god, they had one HP. They must have had sturdy. Overall, the Frenzy Flame perfume doesn't really impress me any more than the fire one or the lightning one. The madness buildup does take a while. I know I sound like a broken record, but the scaling is weird. And I feel like I haven't landed a clean wall of sparks yet. Before I started recording this video, I was getting fat damage with it. People were actually getting hit by it, but now that doesn't seem to be the case. Whatever though, I'm sure you want to know how to get this. And it can be looted from a body at the northern section of the abandoned church in the Abyssal Woods. And moving on to what is the final infusible perfume weapon of the video, here I have the Chilling Perfume. I'm gonna try Wall of Sparks again, but I may switch back to Rolling Sparks. It only deals magic damage, and it scales better with intelligence. And just like the Frenzy Flame one, you get 60 Frost to build up a hit. And here's what the attacks look like, and yes, it does have the exact same moveset that we have seen on all of the other ones. And I'm going to tell you right now, I think I like this one's attacks the most. Of course, we still have the only somber one to get to, though. But these ones, at least to me, look incredible. All right, who is this? Oh, Valindra. Hello again. Really solid damage. Oh, nice. Oh, no way. Okay. I thought that didn't land for a second. And my heart skipped a beat. No lie. Who is this? BR. Hello, BR. Also, I'm starting to think that uh, Rolling Sparks is better than uh, Wall of Sparks. Wall of Sparks just seems to come out way too slow. Oh, nice. Damn, only one hit right there? That's crazy. Oh my god, dude, the spacing. GG. Okay, the Chilling Perfume is definitely my favorite. Let's see what it can do with Rolling Sparks. White Mask Greg. Oh boy, he's stabbing himself. Poor Greg. Did that just stagger him? <laughs> okay, we didn't even get to see Rolling Sparks, but GG, Greg. Golden Silence. Hello. <laughs> I 
Oh, no, no, no. Yup. GG. Okay, as this recording's gone on, I think Rolling Sparks is definitely superior to Wall of Sparks, at least in PvP. But yeah, the Chilling Perfume, I would definitely recommend. These things really slap. And if you want these two shiny blue boys in your inventory, all you gotta do is go to the Lamenter's Jail in the Cerulean Coast. If you have the upper jail key, you can gain access to a room with a frozen floor, and you will find the perfume in there. All right, lads, we are finally on to the final perfume of the video. This is the only somber perfume in the entire game. It does have a unique Ash of War, and it also has some other properties that really set itself apart from the other perfumes. This is the Deadly Poison Perfume, with its unique Ash of War, Deadly Poison Spray. You get C Scaling in Dex and C Scaling in Arcane. As you can see, I have 109 Poison buildup, and that is because if you level up Arcane, you will get more Poison buildup, which of course cannot be said for the Frenzy and Chilling ones. And while it does have those unique things going for it, it does have the exact same moveset as the last four perfumes that we just saw. But the Ash of War Deadly Poison Spray looks like this, which will poison you with Deadly Poison, which doesn't last as long, but it does more damage per tick. And that is exactly why I threw on the Kindred of Rot's Exultation. I'm not really sure how wide the AoE is on this. It seems to go out decently far. Whatever though, who do we got? No pre-buffs? Okay, fair. Don't gotta worry about that with me, partner. Solid damage. Not bad. Wait, did he? Wait, did he just get health back? <laughs> I don't really... Oh no. Who's gonna win? Who's it gonna be? GG. These things proc poison incredibly fast, and I was expecting less damage too. It does kind of feel like that deadly poison spray is only meant to be used for the buff. Oh no, there we go. It landed on him too. Not bad. Oh, big hyper armor. Time is ticking, Doug. Time is ticking. Your life is at stake. <laughs> GG. Okay, so yeah, the Ash of War basically insta-procs poison if somebody is close enough, and you give yourself a buff. These are exceeding my expectations. Ormus. Hello, Ormus. You are going to be my final opponent. Let's make it a good battle. You are using some strange weapons, my friend. Nice. Yup. Good fight, Ormus. I feel like that's a perfect one to end on. The Deadly Poison Perfume is indeed deadly. You can get a free damage buff out of it, well, at the cost of some health. But if you have these boluses, it is basically free. Really good buildup, solid scaling, decent damage. And really that goes for all of the perfume bottles. I genuinely enjoyed using all of these, and I think it's kind of challenging to use them in PvP, which is part of the fun. All in all, I would highly recommend these. And if you want this terrible smelling perfume for yourself, go ahead and buy it from Thalier, who can be found next to the Pillar Path Cross side of Grace. And yeah, that is officially it for the five perfume weapons. Feel free to let me know which one is your favorite down below, and do not hesitate to tell me which weapon class you want to see next. We are going to go through all of them. If you learned something today or you just enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like, and make sure to hit that subscribe and that noti bell if you want to be the first to see when new videos drop on this channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, 
Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next one.